That's the only way that soca is going to compete with ballet, jazz, and hip hop as one of the best dance systems ever. Hello everyone and welcome to my how to really dance to soca series. This video is about soca dance instructors, soca dance classes, and what they have too much of and what they lack. Soca dance classes right now cannot compete with the other popular genres of dance. No professional dancer is going to a school and asking the school if they have soca dance classes, right? No, no, no dance school is actually putting out job offers for soca dance instructors. Most of you soca dance instructors pinhold soca to the basic movements. You either just teach choreography or you teach soca dance fitness. When this happens is because you have not really built up your soca dance vocabulary. As a matter of fact, you most likely have not even done the research to know that soca could even have a vocabulary. By vocabulary, I mean hundreds of movements that we can say are soca dance. I'll see you at the end of the video. Now, a rant. I need to rant about this thing people call in soca dance. I know you clicked on this video because you want a tutorial. You want to learn how to, how to jump, how to whine. Well, really, most of y'all just want to learn how to whine because that's what y'all think soca dance is. I'm gonna get to that in a second. But first, I need to get some things off my chest. Yes, yes, I know I sound like a Yankee, but my family is from Trinidad and Tobago, the birthplace of soca music. And over the last 14 years, I have been researching why it is that we jump and wave and whine to soca music. There's a difference between soca dance and dancing to soca. There is no such thing as soca dance. There is no such thing as soca dance. There is only dancing to soca. There's only dancing to soca. There's a bunch of instructors out there teaching soca dance as if when soca music was created, it created a new set of dances to go along with it. Now, don't get me wrong. There are soca movements, right? But jumping, waving, whining, and chipping are your FET basics, right? And most people stop there. The movements that they're teaching you are really devolved movements from the folk dance of the Caribbean. The traditional masquerade dances, not this pretty mass abstract business where whatever move you're, you're going to do is fine because it don't really have no meaning. So you, you can't really get your true spiritual, you know, soca is supposed to uplift you spiritually. Soca is the power of movement. That's what Lord Shorty said. Movement and soca is the power of movement. That's all. Movement and soca is the power of movement. That's all. He created the music, but he didn't create a new dance to go with it. He looked around and said, I want to change the feeling of the dances because Calypso is dying out. So before anyone teaches you to dance to soca, they should have a working knowledge of what those dances were. That's the only way that soca is going to compete with ballet and jazz and hip hop and African dance. You see when, I, when you do African dance, it's traditional dances. Oh. some new stuff Azanto and all that kind of but that's new stuff that's just one movement that's not a full vocabulary you put all those things together to create a vocabulary let me tell you how I came to the whole realization of all of this when I met my dance mentors I told them that I want to teach soca dance and they laughed at me why 
Because to them, there's no such thing as soca dance. There's just dancing to soca. Let me explain. They were already in their 50s teaching dance, choreographing dance in Trinidad. So to them, all of these new dances had no historical or cultural or political value. And that's what we should be incorporating into soca dance from Calypso and from before Calypso. Most of these things that they show you in a soca dance class is just people having fun. But your movement should connect you to the culture. When you do a hip hop move, it's connecting you to something that happens in the hip hop culture, in the street. When you do a dance hall move, it's because somebody in Jamaica created that dance based on their environment. Do ballet, that's coming from the French, from what developed over there, and Italy, and Russia. Because they had a certain mindset. So what is the soca mindset? Is it what you see on the parkway? Is it what you see now in Trinidad? If you go and research all the old carnival videos that my uncle used to bring to me from Trinidad, you're gonna see they used to play mass, Each real mass. Each carnival character is immersed in tradition and meaning and has a particular costume. Some characters have a distinctive dance to accompany their performances, while mass, real mass, real costume, playing a character that made a movement because of their characteristics. But now, everybody just want to party. Everybody just want to party. This is the first, but definitely not the last of many, because I have a lot to say about soca music and soca dance. Soca, the first thing they think of is whining, meaning to coil something around. I hope you get on board with the journey of making soca dance available to the world as one of the best dance systems for dancers ever.